Hey guys, it's JV with Cyber and You, and today we're going to take a look at creating an app service, more specifically a WordPress site, and using Azure for our platform as a service piece. If you've never touched Azure before, the very first thing you're going to have to do is create an account on the Azure website, which can be found in the description below. The next step will be to log in to the Azure site to access the portal. From there, we are going to be clicking on the three lines at the top left of the site to open up the sidebar and click on create a resource. This is where we will be selecting what application we'd like to create. For this demonstration, it's going to be WordPress. So type in WordPress and click create. Type in the name you'd like to give the application. Specify the subscription that you would like to add to it. And subscriptions are a single billing unit for Azure resources which means you're specifying to which account the resource should be built to. Next, you'll either create a new resource group or use a pre-existing one. In my demonstration, I will be using a pre-existing one. For an application such as WordPress, using MySQL in-app is the better option, as we don't plan on having to run multiple databases and would like it to be hosted within the application. Next, We'll click on the app service plan, location, and create a new one. This is where we specify the location of where our app will be run from and what type of compute requirements we would like to use. Name your app service plan, select your location, and click on the pricing tier and select the tier you would like. For this demonstration, it will be under dev forward slash test and we'll be clicking the F1 tier and click apply once you've selected your tier. Click OK and click Create. When you click on the notification at the top right, you can actually see the deployment in progress. And if we actually click on the deployment in progress, it will take us to the overview of the app and you can watch it slowly create the WordPress app, as well as observe information about the WordPress app, such as what subscription and resource group it is under. Once it is complete, go back up to the notification and click on the go to resource, which will bring you to the completed overview. And from here, you can see the status and other applicable information, as well as the URL. Now click on the URL to take you to your newly created app. Fill out the information and click install WordPress. Now you've successfully created a WordPress site using Azure. We'll be creating more videos in relation to Azure and its functionality, so please subscribe and we look forward to seeing you again.